crazy bastards. You're back here with Rob Kimball on the Sons of Wrestling for some WWE news. Now today we learned that Ricardo Rodriguez is no longer with the company. And tomorrow, 731, is the date that we have some updates about stocks and all that shit. So we have a lot of fear of other talent being released like the last wave. And uh, so I came up with a list of a few people that I think will be going or they're right there on the fence in my opinion. Tell me what you guys think. What's your list? Comment down here. Who do you think is going to be gone? Let's, uh, let's get this forum rocking and see who's going and who's staying and let's all support wrestling no matter the company. WWE, TNA, Ring of Honor, all wrestling, all independent wrestling we need to support them if you like wrestling support it simple as that now on my list here and i do not want anybody to go I, I want people to have jobs i want people to have work i want people to entertain the fans and people like me that can report some shit about them so guys first one on my list i just went through uh, wwe's roster and uh first one on there i see 10 sites still there I say Tensai's gone after this next wave of releases. If it does happen, I just don't see him going anywhere with the WWE from here on. So that's first on the list. Next up, I would throw David Otunga in there. When really has he done anything? He's still getting paid. I, I see he's on the roster, so seems like uh, you haven't done work in two years. How about you go? Anyway. Unless he's done something on NXT, I have not watched that in quite a while. Then, um, next up, I think, would be Christian. That's a pretty big name up there, guys. But, Christian, in the last two years, has not done much. And I know he's doing, you know, the announcing now, pre-show, for, for pay-per-views. But, he's not a very talkative guy. So, I mean, they let Josh Matthews go. And he was way better. So, let's, uh... Let's move on to my next guy, um, Heath Slater, the last of 3MB. I think it's his time to go bye-bye. Now, a couple that I'm teetering on the fence here. They really don't help, but somebody like Kali really doesn't do much work, but I do know that they love him when he's on TV. Their, uh, their numbers from India fly up, so... India's a big wrestling scene, I guess, because I'm looking at my YouTube analytics. India watches wrestling. They're like my number one viewers. India and Saudi Arabia for some reason. I did not know that. Thank you guys for watching. And, uh, well, after that, I would say two, two guys on there, three guys on there that are pretty big that I think might go. One, Zack Ryder. Two, R-Truth. Three, Fandango. Now that's putting it out there, but really guys, they, Ron Killings is a killer talent, but he's getting up there in age. He's almost, I think, mid-40s. That's, I mean, Triple H is 45, so R-Truth, he, he can go in the ring, no doubt at all. He's very talented. He's not shy with a mic, and um, I, but I just don't see WWE moving on with him. Yes, he did beat the Bo Dallas, but maybe that was a going away present right there. Hey, at least get you a victory before you go on out. I don't know. We're going to find out soon enough. Comment below. Do you think our truth will be gone? I don't know. I hope not. I really none of these guys. And um, and last up, I think Hunico. Hunico. The the whole Sin Cara deal. They just never ended up working out with the original Sin Cara and now Hunico. He's a great talent, but I just I don't see where they're going to go with him if they do keep him. And um, after that, really, uh, I, I don't I don't know. Maybe um, I, I don't have anyone else. So guys, comment below. Who do you think's going? Who do you think's staying? Um, I 
There was one more I had. I just completely forgot about it. Didn't write it down. I'm sure there's some backstage people that may just go away that nobody really knows who they are. So, um, if they need to save, I don't know, it was like $20 million. Wow. There might be deeper cuts than this. Um, they still have a pretty decent roster in the end, but for the amount of uh, TV that they do, it's not a lot, really. But they need to utilize these people more. That's just my opinion. Utilize what you got. Have the, uh, especially a lot of these NXT guys. I mean, this could be a good thing for them, but then this could be a bad thing for the indie scene, because now you're going to get flooded with previous WWE talent that's going to be jumping on the card and getting that pay that where the indie guy should be getting some of the pay because he's out there busting his ass down the road working his nine to five or whatever it is those guys deserve every dollar they get so that's my uh my whole deal about WWE tomorrow by the time you see this it'll probably be today so guys comment below hit the thumbs up follow me on Twitter at Rob Kimball Brand. Go to my website, sonsofwrestling.com. Click the t-shirts if you want some cool swag, different shit, awesome stuff on there. And um, that's that, guys. I will catch you later. Peace.